Uh, hello everybody. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you uh, the uh, all the parts I've done to my RC car. This is a um, uh, Traxxas slash low center gravity four x four. It's a uh, platinum edition, so I got to um, um, uh, paint my body. I also got a um, uh, over tray from J Concepts um, with it, so I'm. Uh, I'll be showing you how I cut that out and such, and be telling you why and what not to do with it if you were to get one. The reason why I got one is obviously um, to keep the truck clean, um, but uh, you know it, it's strange because you can't follow the out the outlines that it recommends on here um, on the over tray because it um uh, really um, it, it it's meant for the non low center gravity and that's a different design so you have to go on your own really um, but um, I did pretty good the one thing that I did modify besides it cutting besides myself cutting it is um, I added these little parts on the bottom and that covers up these little pieces right here so no dirt comes up and get in here as much overheating wise um, I'm not really getting over any any overheating. Um, I have the um, uh, uh, e uh, ESC um, veil, uh, fan core. Um, this I did have the fan on it, but it like stopped working. I don't know what it did, but it's not getting me in any trouble that I'm not having it on there. So. Yeah, also, what I've done, um, I did this, uh, yesterday, um, I, um, uh, messed with the GTR springs, and I, uh, just tightened in, tightened them up, so, really, the truck, when it lands, it's still gonna, um, absorb a lot, just not as much, and also, <laughs> it's not that well anymore, as you can see. I mean, usually you'll see most trucks super well like that. Mine's just way up. Because I don't want it really well. Otherwise, they'll eat the dirt so much. Sway bars, they still do their job. Um, the black ones are the super soft ones, which should come default in most trucks, I think. And then the silver um, is the um, uh, harder ones. Um, the kind of... 2S wipe that I'm using, I had to solder it, it's this one, and it's a um, 7.4 volt, so it's pretty good. Um, also, I originally got a 3-cell, this one's mainly just if I want to go racing and go all out, I have an 11.1 volt 3-cell, so... That was just for kicks, I guess, because it's not the best for the truck. Shaxxas says you're able to handle it, but can't do very good if you keep on driving within that only. Um, I painted my tires just because I really wanted to because I'm not a fan of the red. It doesn't match what I have as my body. Um, I'm guessing most of you guys know this, but if you don't, this is your first time painting a um, body, like, I mean first time, even, I mean, well, I guess if you look up enough videos, I tried, but I guess I didn't look up enough, do not just use one color, you need to use more than one, no matter, like, if you have different designs on it and such, so if I, if you were to have, like, a, a, um, uh, like a white going across and a blue or whatever you know multiple colors it still doesn't matter you must get a different color that doesn't match any of those colors so when you're done painting the main thing you know so you can see the outer shell what it looks like when you're done with that you need to put on a different color I didn't do that and my truck is already getting shredded up I mean well, the paint is, it's peeling off, so that's obviously a big issue. But, um, when you're done painting it, like, uh, two to four layers of coats, you know, I won't go through that drill, um, saying that, um, but, uh, 
when you're done with that you um like in my case i should have gotten a white um spray coat and then put that on because then you have two layers um and yeah it, no not shred off but, um, you know oh well i do like my design it's a little unsorted on the sides but this is my first time doing it so you know pretty fun anyways um that's most of it i'm gonna go ahead and put on my over tray here and show you what it looks like with on so hold on And I just um, used um, some uh, simple stuff. Um, this is like um, stuff that you will see. Well, it, uh, j you could easily get this kind of stuff at um, Lowe's or something. Lowe's or Home Depot, one or the other, or some other place like Office Max. Something simple. I used um, caulking, that's what the white stuff is. It sticks on well. Uh, obviously, if you dunk your truck too much in water, so if you're using this as a water protector, I recommend you use something else besides caulking, because, you know, caulking doesn't do very good in water. It'll eventually peel off if you put in too much. I got this because I the truck that I drive at is like a sand-in material, so, you know, that, that right there is not so good if you just have a not over tray but uh this over tray works really well once again if you know what you're doing i didn't know what i was doing i just seemed i could i could put it this way i got lucky i could technically say i got lucky um when i did this reason why i say that is because well <laughs> i really didn't fully know what I was doing, because this was my first time doing it and such, um, anyways, uh, this is what it does, I mean, yeah, still a little seep through, but not nearly as much as this exposed part right here, still a little seep though, same thing on the other side, but, uh, it's definitely gonna help, I, I haven't driven it with this on, uh, with the new mod on, but, um, I'm definitely gonna give it a try. One other concern, if you are going to get this J-Concepts thing, um, there's a lot of holes, as you can see here, because, you know, the, um, the truck part as itself is really skinny, much more skinny than that one right there. So, you know, that's an issue, but, you know, you can make little parts right there, you know, just to press them down. I mean, right there, I'm not letting it go down, but, oh well, I'll modify with that, I guess, um, there's some stuff that you can make your own creations on and make it your own specialty. But, um, yeah. I'm guessing most of you guys know this, but you know what? I'm just making as much tips no matter how popular times people say this in other videos. The GTR shocks, because I'm new to this, I just bought the truck not knowing. I mean, I knew all the upgrades, I just didn't know how well they were, like the center, center diff. Now I know how well that does compared to, to the normal. Anyways, um, these are like little screws right here. I know you can't see it because I'm using a crappy camera. Uh, but you just um, keep on uh, turning this. Uh, obviously, righty tighty, lefty woosy. Right makes it go down, which makes the spring stiffer. Left makes it go up. Usually, um, when you buy the truck default, they should be at loose as they can go. Um, this is more setups for like rock crawling, racing on tarmac, racing on dirt, um, you know, all that kind of hefty good stuff. But um, that's the main way. One other crappy thing that I did discover about this truck, well, the only crappy thing is what I should say, because it's an amazing truck, I would say. And it should be, because this thing's pretty pricey. Um, is, um, you see where, uh, hold on a sec here, I'm trying to hold it up. Um, you see these parts right here, um, where you're able to put the sprain, you know, further out or further in. You're able to put one more in. I was going to put one more in, but I discovered all of these parts right here. 
um, have no screws in them. You would need to screw them in as themselves. Like, okay, not not the screw, but uh, the grades. You need to make your own grades, which is horrible. So, it, if you don't know what I mean, it what I'm basically saying is you can't screw it into these holes. Same on the back. Um, yeah, that that's an issue, I guess. But you know what? Is what is. Can't all be perfect, I guess. But obviously, the more pricey a vehicle is, the more perfect it should be. But um, otherwise, this is my truck. If you have any more questions, either I'll put it in a video. If there's enough questions, or I'll just comment and say what they issue is or whatever um but um yeah truck's very very nice once again don't do what i do with the body um and that's mainly it <clears throat> so yeah this is my working space i'll end the video here soon but um i uh did pretty good with the controller this uh, this control right here you know since it's platinum you need to get a receiver bot receiver as itself this controller right here was originally for the um, this truck right here. It's this truck right here is the Traxxas slash two wheel drive um, brushed. So this was my first um, slash. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, what I did with the controller, I really like. I put basically just a chance this controller with stickers. You know, Rockstar, all that kind of good stuff. Oh, where I got the Rockstar stickers, stickers, um, was from Amazon. There's a lot of them there, and if you can't find your specific stickers on Amazon, get them off of eBay or something. That's all that I can say, really. Um, <laughs> Sharpie man right here. I sharpied the steering wheel so it didn't look chrome, and then I added a little Rockstar sticker in there. I think that looks pretty cool. And then more Rockstars. So, that's my new yet. Uh, tell me if you uh, need any questions or something. Or have any questions. But, um, anyways, uh, thank you for watching and comment and subscribe. <laughs>